for data service creation using service builder here we see an example for service development using the option model via ddic go to transaction segw and in the first step we have to define the data model where we have to create a project and define the data model so choose create project button create project dialog opens provide project name description project type generation strategy and package as dollar tmp for local development person responsible and continue with local object we see project created with sub nodes data model service implementation runtime artifacts and service maintenance in creating data model importing data model via ddic for this right click on data model choose import and choose ddic structure ddic import window opens choose database table provide table name that is s flight and press enter it loads the ddic definition and displays the fields by default as entity type checkbox is selected object name should be overwritten with a meaningful entity type name client field or mandate is not required so select ignore for this in usage column and select key or property for other fields as needed provide meaningful names for properties in name column other columns are read only press enter and the corresponding entity type is created can repeat these steps many times to add more entity types note if we deselect as entity type can create a complex type which don't contain any key attributes so usage drop down only contains ignore and property to choose created entity type is automatically associated with the related ddic table we have to create corresponding entity sets ourselves double click on entity sets click insert row and create flight collection entity set and the second step is service registration click generate runtime objects button opens a model and service definition pop up keep default values and click okay button prompted to provide the package name provide package as dollar tmp and click on local object generation and backend registration starts and finishes after some time messages window appears should have only green traffic lights means project check and generation is successful can see runtime artifacts node gets populated in project expand the node and double click on runtime artifacts service step generation expand the runtime artifacts node right click on the dpc class and select 
go to abap workbench opens up abap class builder with dpc base class the methods shown in black have been redefined this takes place every time you generate your project and in the service maintenance you find an entry in each project under the service maintenance node double click the entry to see details click the register button confirm the pop up by clicking yes provide system alias in the next pop up and click okay button next pop up with more fields that is add service pop up appears here we find technical service name technical model name etc leave default values and provide package click okay button service registration and activation takes place and we are taken back to service builder on back end system if successful system overview screen will display a green traffic light the over data service is now registered and active means can be consumed click maintain button and confirm pop up if if any the screen appears click call browser and allow pop up provide user id and password you see the o data service document in web browser you see the o data service metadata document in web browser by adding dollar metadata to the existing uri that was a service development example using the option model via ddic in the next video we'll see the detailed service generation that is rfc bor generation thank you